Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. I'm your host the OT Astartes and now it's time for another episode of Astartes Analysis Now. Uh, this week I'm taking a little break from Hattie Feather and as it's the Doctor Who 60th coming up, um, I decided to review an, a Radio Times issue from the 60th, well from the 50th anniversary I should say. So this was about 10 years ago. This was the exact cover that someone brought me from a store. Um, of course, this is the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison. It was around that time when I was into classic Doctor Who. I preferred it a lot to New Who. But uh, this is a shot from Dimensions in Time, which was the EastEnders crossover anniversary special. Here we have the Gravis. Sea Devils and Daleks from Resurrection of the Daleks. So I've cut this out and put it on my wall. Uh, but I still have the actual issue of the Radio Times. And it's so ironic how there are some Space Marines right beside the Fifth Doctor. So as we go in, it was near into the... So as we delve into the Radio Times... Uh, this was before the Christmas issue came out, so a Christmas preview. And at the front is Call the Midwife, classic Call the... Well, when I say classic, I mean the first... Well, some of the first series of Call the Midwife. So here we've got um, Radio's five picks of the week. So David Mitchell and Robert Webb. Um, Number one, it was Graham Norton with Who Made Who on Radio 2. Yeah, there was a special uh, anniversary thing on Radio 2, so it, on his Saturday show. But yeah, of course, there are the highlights for this week. So QI with Stephen Fry, him and her, Tudor Monastery Farm, uh, Lewis, War of the Worlds, the classic film, Animal Odd Couples. Um, and then we have an advert here for Ariel. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, and then the point of view from Esther Ranson is. Don't know what she's doing now. I don't watch the BBC anymore. So, um, turn the page. We go to um a spy drama featuring Andrew Scott with a mustache. So Legacy, this is called. And then we have oh, the first Freeview box, I think. So uh, we have TV and fiber optic broadband. God, £20 a month. Bloody hell, you don't get that now. Look, we've got the old logo for BBC iPlayer, BT Sport, Dave, the History Channel, Universal Pictures, Gold, uh, eSpan. MTV, Comedy Central, with advertisements with The Great Gatsby, Two and a Half Men, and World War Z. And then we have Michaela Stratum talking about seabirds. And then another advert for Kangaroo Dundee. And then we have a Barry Norman article. So he's a regular contributor to the, to the Radio Times. Um, I don't, I think he retired. I'm not sure if he's alive or not. Oh, and then we have the 2013 John Lewis Christmas advert. Then we have Now TV. That's still going to this day. Of course, with the couple eating dumplings in front of the telly. Uh, one shot being night. Another shot being in the evening. And we have adverts for shows like Dracula, um, Elementary, and The Tunnel. And we have a history of Radio Times covers for Doctor Who. So from the first Doctor era, um, and then of course there was one celebrating the Five Doctors as well, and the Three Doctors. And then there was the anniversary thing as well for the 40th, I believe. No, that's the 40th. And then as we go in, we've got the cover for Christopher Eccleston's first, well, only run as the Doctor. 
well, only TV run as the Doctor. He's done Big Finish as well. Then we've got the Return of the Daleks, then the Christmas Special, Season 2, Cybermen, Rise of the Cybermen, Age of Steel. I love this cover. I love how the Cybermen have got a beach ball, well, not a beach ball, a football, and they're I can really visualise a Cyberman playing football with a Dalek. Um, then, of course, David Tennant's specials, Martha Jones. Um, then the return of the master, Dalek Sec. Um, Time Crash, uh, the episode with Kylie in. And then the Donna Noble series. And, of course, uh, Catherine Tate returning now as Donna Noble. Return of the Sontarans, the season four finale, series four finale, I should say, uh, the return of Davros. Um, then we have the specials, the late tenant special, so his final run. So we've got the next Doctor, Planet of the Dead, uh, Waters of Mars and the end of time. And we go into my favourite era personally, the Matt Smith era. Of course, there's um, the first cover for Ten and Amy, then the Paradigm Daleks, um, Stone, and then with the Pandora opens the Doc, ah, uh, and also um, the first Christmas special with Matt Smith and a Christmas Carol. That was it. And of course, on the day of filming, I found out that Michael Gambon's died. He was the guest star in this. He played a bitter old man who changed um, as the episode went on. And of course, he was more notably famous for his role in Harry Potter as Dumbledore. He was also in a drama with Christopher Eccleston, which was about the Arctic, I think. But yeah, it's sad to hear that Michael Gambon's died. He was only 82. Now, then we go into season six with The Silence. And then um, the Melody Pond storylines. So we have that. And then um, we have then um, the Wedding of River Song and Let's Kill uh, Hitler with that entire River Song storyline. Secrets of Christmas. Yep, the Christmas special from that era. And then Series 7 with Amy and Clara. This is This was when I got back into Doctor Who, I think. Because I took a break when Series 7 Part 1 came out. But when um, Clara Oswald came along, then I got interested again. And then the 50th anniversary ones. So, from Doctors all the way from 1. That, I love how they all had their own unique covers. To, to John Hurt. Um, next up, then we have some anthologies about the Doctors. So this is about the day of the Doctor uh, with the 10th Doctor, 11th and War Doctors. And Stephen Moffat, the guy who was the showrunner at that time. And I actually liked Stephen Moffat as a showrunner. There's a shot of him as a kid reading Doctor Who and the Daleks. And then... Uh, a story about how Doctor Who was nearly axed with the entire Doctor in distress. And then another shot of David Tennant and Elizabeth I. Joanna Page as Elizabeth I. And also, look, on the other page, there's an advert for Sky HD with all these box sets. And these are all DVDs. Now, I, I've still got some of my DVDs, so I've got some... I'm going to take a little diversion now. So the most recent DVD I've got is this brilliant movie. Some of it has aged well. I can re some of it has aged really poorly, especially with the Film Actors Guild. And then we have a chocolate bar advertisement. The shot with Tennant and Smith. I actually I'm I actually prefer this anniversary to the 60th because there was more hype more advertising for this everyone was doing something big finish had its own thing um we also had the 11 doctors 11 stories which i've got on my shelf and um, there's also a picture of the three doctors 
And then, of course, oh, Bernard Cribbins, bless him. You know, it's going to be really sad when the 60th is on because it's going to be his last ever production. Um, and I actually knew someone who went to see them filming the 60th anniversary around um, the time in June time, I think. Was it May? Whenever they were filming in Bristol. But they were filming. Uh, they they texted me saying that they saw Tennant and Tate. Um, and I think it was the day when they released the pictures of Bernard Cribbins. Yeah, it's sad that he's um, that the last piece of media that he's done was the 50th anniversary. And beside him is a shot of uh, his first role in Doctor Who with Peter Cushing and Roberta Tovey with Dark's Invasion Earth. Um, and then um, the Tony Hall, the BBC, the British Ball Collective Director General. A shot of Ten and Clara. 10 and Clara, 11 and Clara in the 11th Doctor's console room. And then there's John Hurt when he was the Doctor. Of course, he did some big finish before he died. And we have a competition for winning Matt Smith's bow tie as well as a blow-up Dalek. And some DVDs as well. And then we have an anthology of all the Doctors. So for William Hartnell... Patrick Troughton. Um, John Pertwee, and there are some contributors here as well. So like Jonathan Ross for the third. Uh, Hugh Bonneville, of course. Hugh Bonneville got to guest star in Doctor Who himself. Now, um, I'm just going to scrunch up the third Doctor because it's got a picture of Joe Branton. With a Dalek, and I think you know the one I'm on about. Uh, dedicated Whovians, and I don't want to get censored for this. Um, and then we have uh, Tom Baker's Doctor with, uh, of course, Charlie Brooker. And the return of the Zygons as well, because this was the first time we saw the Zygons on screen since the Zygon invasion. No, not the Zygon invasion. That was the Capaldi episode. That was the one with the Loch Ness Monster. And look who's also contributed. Mr. David Cameron. The guy who got us into the mess we're in today. <laughs> um, and of course, we have a shot of the Fourth Doctor and Leela. Um... Tom Baker and that's Terry Nation, the guy who created um, the Daleks. And I love how he's wearing a frilled shirt to look like John Pertwee. Now, it kind of reminds me of John Pertwee, but yeah, we've got a lot to thank for Terry Nation. And then we've got an article on the scarf and um, his appearance in The Simpsons. An advert for a jigsaw game. And then we have my favourite doc, well, one of my favourite doctors. Then we have Peter Davison, um, a shot of him in All Creatures Great and Small. Um, Adric's Death, uh, The Salary Stick, a shot of Resurrection of the Daleks, which was my first fifth doctor story. A shot of Time Crash. And of course, they've both been in Good Omens recently. Now, here we have a stamp collection for the 50th anniversary, which I have. On here, I've got some stamps. Um, the Sixth Doctor with Linda Bellingham, who also guest starred in Trial of the Time Lord. Terry Malloy is Davros. I've actually met Terry Malloy, and he's a really nice bloke. Um, seventh Doctor, of course, Sylvester McCoy, Nicholas Parsons, host of Just a Minute, and guest starred in The Curse of Fenric. Uh, it has an article on. Uh, people who were in it, so like Sheila Hancock, Joan Sims, Martin Clunes. Uh, the Eighth Doctor, so it was on about Doctor Who the movie. Um, posters for the Daleks Invasion Earth and Doctor Who and the Daleks. McCoy and McGann together. And a shot of um, the Eighth Doctor in the TARDIS. 
Um, I don't think there's any mention of Big Finish in this, which is a shame, really, because Big Finish really has um, chain, changed the Eighth Doctor. Then we have Christopher Eccleston. Then a picture of Moffat and T. Davis. And then a blue Dalek. Ooh, was, and it says here it was on about... Um, it was on display in Madame Two Swords in 1980. A shot of the Daleks um, near the Houses of Parliament, which was, of course, a shot... Um, recreating a shot on uh, the Dalek invasion of Earth, I think. And, of course, that moment from Bad Wolf... Then um, the Tenth Doctor with a shot of Sarah Jane and uh, Rose. And then, um, yeah, a shot of uh, Ten and Jenny. And then Stephen Merchant, who was also starring The Outlaws with Jessica Gunning, who was also in um, Doctor Who as Stacey Campbell in Partners in Crime. Then we've got this poster and it's... It's sad that Pertwee never got to face the Cybermen, but this is what they would have looked like had his doctor would have met met up with the with um our favourite um with our favourite cybernetic creatures. And then of course a shot of Ten and Donna and a familiar face as well with good eyebrows. Of course Capaldi. And then we have uh Matt Smith's doctor. We've also got shots of the title sequence. Uh, they, they use the most recent one. I don't know why, because um, Smith, the one that he had the longest was the one with the time tunnel and the lightning. And then the Pandorica opens, of course, the episode where everyone teams up against him. And then a shot of the brilliant Elizabeth Sladen and Jenna Coleman. Um, next up, we have, oh, and of course, um, a subscription to Radio Times with Treasures from the First 50 Years of Doctor Who. Um, and then we have some more Radio Times covers with David Tennant on the front as well. Oh, now this, this brings back memories. Kevin Clifton and Susanna Reid on Strictly. Oh, yes. Ten years ago when Strictly... Oh. Uh, then we have a DVD of the 50th. Uh, a footballer who went on Strictly. Um, then, of course, a shot of the Daleks. Another Barry Norman article as well. Um, and then this is on about um, some horror movie. Toby Jones doing something. Then we have uh, the company man, the company men, and some DVDs as well. So ghost stories, Robin Redbreast, Dead of Night, and Supernatural. Scalcon the painter, and then some Sky Atlantic things. Uh, the classic War of the World. A Simon Pegg film, The World's End. Um, an advert for Riverboat Cruises, Deborah Meadham. Ah, uh, here we go. 50th day, we have the shot of the three doctors. Uh, Blue Peter did a, their own little party for Doctor Who. Ah, oh, and who remembers this competition? Strictly versus the X Factor. And this was the best judging panel. Len, Darcy, Craig and Bruno. I miss that. I miss 10 years ago because these were real TV judges. You know, I'm kind of... I think that they've made Craig too nice. I think he's lost his uniqueness. Uh, of course, uh, Jonathan Ross show with um, the the late great Barry Humphreys. Um, Horizon, uh, Horizon documentary, Flog It as well. Rugby, Dad's Army. 
Oh, Dad's Army was on at the same time as Day of the Doctor. <gasps> That's a sin. Putting Dad's Army at the time of same time as Day of the Doctor. And then there was an after party as well. Um, so presented by Zoe Ball and Rick Edwards and then the Ultimate Guide as well, which was, I guess, a little documentary. After that's Family Guy. Little Britain. Ah, oh, yes, the episode with Vanessa Feltz, I believe. Um, the Paradise, I think. Yeah, the Paradise. Morecambe and Wise, the whole story. I want to watch Morecambe and Wise. Ice Age 3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. And then there's an entire... Oh, look, there's an advert for Christmas. Oh, yay, more adverts for stuff. Oh, this was an entire thing, wasn't it? There was an entire section dedicated to ad advertising weird products. Yonderland with the old Horrible Histories cast. Game of Thrones and, the se and of course, this was the same year that Diana Rigg guest starred in Doctor Who. She was in um, the episode... What was the episode? They're in Victorian London. With Mr. Sweet. I don't know. Um, Mike the Knight. I remember this. Mike the Knight. He's a brave young hero. Be a knight. Do it right. Ripper Street. I wonder, I wonder who's in this. I don't know any who no, I don't know who any of these people are. Uh Fresh Meat. So it had and then Endeavour. Oh yes, this was when Arrow was on as well in the first few seasons. So on Sky One. Yeah, Sky were doing their own thing. So, our, yeah, they had. Yeah, so season two of Arrow. Faulty Towers. My God, they're showing Mean Girls. Last Tango in Halifax as well. Two Doctor Who guest stars. Anne Reed was in it twice. She was in. She was in. Uh, Smith and Jones and the Curse of Fenric, and of course, Derek Jacobi is the master. Then I think I remember Bot Box. Yeah, yeah, I remember Derek hosting uh, Milkshake. Derek, Derek was the Irish guy, wasn't he? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, and when you look at the cast list, there are a lot of Doctor Who guest stars in it. So Sarah Lancashire was in uh, Partners in Crime. Nicola Walker and Josh Bolt have done Big Finish. Tony Gardner, I believe, has done Big Finish. Um, Nina Sosmeyer, I think. Oh, my God. Chris Ramsey was an actor as well. Uh, then we have... Oh, yeah, Kick-Ass. Laws of Engagement, Law and Order, Vampire Diaries. Uh, Miranda. Of course, they're repeating Miranda. Um, Nigel Slater and Adam Henson. Oh, yeah, q 5, I think. I know that was someone else. I was going to say that uh, I know someone who liked um, a show only because the Kaiser Chief sang the theme song to it. Um, God, 24 hours in A&E. No, thank you, dear. Um, Apollo 13. Brilliant film. Um, Family Guy Star Wars. Danny's Castle, I remember this. Um, I like Desme. 
So, yeah, uh, this was a spin-off of Danny's House with Danny Harmer. Big Bang Theory. Who remembers that? Um, Planet of the Apes. The Naughty Professor with Eddie... Not Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Murphy. Murder, She Wrote. Blackadder Goes Forth. Dark Shadows. There was a show of that as well as an audio drama. It looks like Noel Fielding, but I know it's not Noel Fielding. Oh my God, Junior... James Martin did Junior Bake Off. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, Sean Lo No, Sean Walsh before the entire Katia thing. Ah, oh, yes, New Who on Blu-ray. Oh my God, bloody sa bloody Anton Deck. Live at the Apollo. Uh, Day after tomorrow. Oh yes, it was also the anniversary of. Uh, it was also the fiftieth anniversary, and also will be the sixtieth this year. Of John F. Kennedy. I think they had to change the time slot of Doctor Who because of that. Then the radio thing. So this was a brilliant schedule. This was my favourite Radio 2 schedule. Woke up to Annika Rice. Brian Matthews with does Sounds of the 60s. Graham Norton. Pick of the Pops with Tony Blackburn. Dermot O'Leary. Lisa Tarbuck. Johnny Walker and Sounds of the 80s with Sarah Cox. Sunday, we had a Good Morning Sunday with Claire Balding, Steve Wright's Sunday Love Songs, Weekend Wogan, Elaine Page on Sunday, Sounds of the 70s, Paul O'Grady, Michael Ball, Claire Teal and Don Black. That really makes me pause for a moment because sadly Terry and Paul are no longer with us. God, we've lost two greats. Then on the weekday schedules, we have Vanessa Feltz, Chris Evans, Ken Bruce, Jeremy Vine, Steve Wright, Simon Mayo, Paul Jones, Joe Wiley. And 1963, the year that was, was a documentary. And then uh, we had The Jazz Show with Jamie Callum. Wednesdays, we had Mark Radcliffe with The Folk Show. Thursdays, we had Bob Harris Country and... Fridays were my favourite days because we had Desmond Carrington. I used to love listening to Desmond Carrington. He was, he got me, well, he expanded my love of swinging big band music. It was Dog Do that got me into it. But um, it was Desmond Carrington that introduced me to some other artists. So then we've got local radio. And then we've got all the adverts here. And we've got the crossword and puzzles. Only connects with Victoria Corin Mitchell and an advert for jumpers. An advert for jackets as well. Oh my God. Is Oh God, bloody loose women. I hate that show. And of course we have um, the feedback section. And we have a uh, winning... Of a 12 inch Dalek, remote control Dalek. I've actually got one of my own here. Sadly, though, uh, the controller no longer works and it's out of battery. So it's just standing there doing nothing. And a CD of uh, festive favourites. And we have, oh, here we go, the first page of um, the best of recent TV and radio. Ah, oh, yes, the Iron Man Cybermen. And that this is also when Downton was on as well. So uh, there's a shot of Lady Edith there. And a motor scooter. Uh, so, yeah. Tell you what, I'm glad I kept this because there is so much nostalgia to this. It really does make me remember a time when... The BBC was watchable. 
Uh, personally, I think that since then it's gone very much downhill. You see, there was more hype. I was more excited for the 50th than the 60th because I was interested in Doctor Who. And my one plea to Russell T. Davis is that just make us a traditional episode of Doctor Who. All right. We don't want uh, politics getting pushed in your own show. We just want a traditional episode of Doctor Who. All right. I, I'm not happy with the fact that they cast Jinx Monsoon in the show. I don't think we should have drag queens in Doctor Who. Doctor Who has always been a family show. It's always been about a man who travels through time and space, uh, stops monsters and fixes uh, the problems of the universe. And he teaches everyone mor um, some moral. I just want Doctor Who, for God's sake. I don't want something that betrays what Doctor Who has always been. Uh, so, yeah, that ends today's Astartes analysis. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. So, goodbye, good night, and follow the buzzards.